more techniques under his belt. And I think those techniques could very well cause Aldo some different problems against the fence there. As for MMA options now, I've got Henry Cejudo. I think is the best option for him. As you can see, Henry Hugh Cejudo in at number five, two lost skid at the moment. Bit of a tale of the tape for Cejudo versus Aldo. As you can see, Aldo, the more experienced guy, 32 and eight, eight 17 knockouts, which is pretty impressive to Cejudo's eight. He's got one submission on his resume. Some key areas then to break things down. You've got Cejudo's level changes are going to be a problem for Aldo. And of course, his wrestling, having been an Olympic gold medalist. You've got Cejudo's cardio, I think, would best Aldo across five rounds. If they get five, maybe a fight night five rounder. We've seen Cejudo slow down in his last two fights after the first round. We see Aldo do the same as well. But I do kind of edge it to the wrestler, I'm afraid, in this. Because the other option would, would be, of course, cardio. Would be, of course, the mental edge. I think that uh, Cejudo is somebody who can dig deep and kind of really push himself in those later rounds. Where, of course, in the past with Aldo... We've not really seen that, especially with fights against the likes of Max Holloway and, and that at featherweight. Now, okay, granted, you could just say, well, Aldo kind of checked out a little bit during that period in his career and was kind of, you know, bothered by the whole thing that happened with Conor McGregor and wasn't training as hard and things like that. But, um, you know, for that reason, for those reasons, I think we've got to give the, the mental edge to Henry Cejudo. And of course, uh, Cejudo is going to be a problem with his distance management. He's got a very wide stance. He's been really improving his his striking. He's got great use of, of that distance. That combined with his level changes is going to what cause uh, Aldo some problems. On the other hand, for Aldo, though, is going to be his explosiveness ties in with his leg kicks of course and just his overall shot selection which is in there as well i think you know his ability to target the body and come up top as well in such short bursts will cause Cejudo problems in those close exchanges his takedown defense is a big key one in there i should have highlighted it because Marab Dwalishvili really struggled to get Aldo down. Aldo's still the one person that Marab's not been able to take down in his UFC career. So, do you think Henry Cejudo can really is the question? You know, you'd imagine that Cejudo can do it against the fence. But personally, I think that Cejudo's got a bit more technique in his locker because he is a decorated gold medalist in rest freestyle wrestling he's gonna have more techniques under his belt and i think those techniques could very well cause aldo some different problems against the fence there so aldo's got to obviously remain in the center for as much as possible during that potential fight and uh, of course the last thing for Aldo is his world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which a lot of MMA fans haven't really seen much of. He's won world championships in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The reason we don't see it in his MMA game is purely because he is so explosive, you know? And with that explosiveness, is it's really taxing on your cardio. And grappling in itself is just taxing his cardio full stop. So I don't think Aldo can be explosive in with his striking and... Um, utilize much wrestling and Brazilian jiu-jitsu in his fights. He kind of sticks to the striking elements. So, but I got to add it in there though, because it is a bit of a factor of a what if Suhudo was able to get um, Aldo down. Can Aldo be threatening off his back? Because I believe that he can and cause Aldo, uh, Suhudo problems in that area.